Hello, welcome to this ONDR Mod Rail video. This is video MT11 in our series of XKV videos detailing how we converted our automatic Jaguar XK to manual. Now, this one isn't strictly about that, but it's very closely associated with it. Now, I had a question of a fellow enthusiast, Gary Van Rimortel, who, if you're not aware, is a, a massive Jaguar XK enthusiast, and he's created a database of facts called the XK Bible, which is available as a PDF document. And it's particularly uh, of interest if you've got a Jaguar XK X100 or even supercharged, particularly the later versions 2003. But a lot of the stuff is relevant for all models, so please take a look at that document. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Now, the question Gary asked was, um, he's got quite long legs, his seats reclined all the way, or um, moved all the way into the furthest most position away from the steering wheel and the pedals, but it still would like a little bit more leeway on his brake pedal, i.e. he wants the brake pedal to go um, back, potentially in line with the accelerator. And how easy would it be to do that? Is it practical? So this video, we're going to take a look at that and uh, the constraints. Now, it's particularly um, interesting for me at the moment because I've got all those bits out on my bench, literally. Um, so it's really good timing for Gary's questions. If you've got any questions about your Jaguar XK8, um, please uh, drop us a line in the comments or on our email and uh, we're happy to try and answer them. Okay. So my car is a Jaguar XK8 um, 1996. It's the first version. Obviously Gary's car isn't the same. It's actually a later version, um, a 2003, and obviously it's Ryan Drive, but the positions of the pedals, um, is, or the principle for positioning the pedals is, is relatively the same. So I don't know what they can see here, it's very difficult to get in camera shot. But the accelerator pedal is slightly behind the brake pedal. I have actually tried to measure it, it's roughly an inch inch to 30 millimeters, 25 to 30 mil. So we want to try and, Gary's asking us, can we move this brake pedal back a little bit in line with the brake pedal, so the accelerator. So let's have a look at the mechanism on the bench and see what we can do. Here's the mechanism on the bench. Um, so let's talk about the brake pad, pad position first. Now, I'm assuming the left-hand drive is similar to the right-hand drive pedal. Um, in theory, if you bend um, the brake pedal here, you could get probably roughly an inch, possibly just less if you break, if you bent it, bent it here. Now these are, um, I think, cast or forged pedals, but you can bend them or at least tweak them. I have actually tweaked this pedal. And um, because it's a brake system, we don't really want to be cutting and shutting it. We want to keep it as OEM as possible, but that would be the first um, thing to look at. The only problem with that, obviously, you've got to get the, uh, the brake lever out, and that's quite difficult in situ. So maybe not ideal. Interesting, if we move up the brake pedal, the actual master cylinder, um, is joined with a, a clevis here into um, a boss sort of offset on the brake pedal, the brake pedal lever. There is no adjustment here. You can't adjust this. However, I don't know if you can see that. I've actually repositioned the hole. <laughs> um, the reason for that I'll, I'll, I'll explain. So in our um, manual conversion, we've had to create a mounting bracket to mount the uh, master cylinder. Now that actually bolts behind, in between the pedal box and the servo. This is three mil material. So in theory, or in practice, this clevis move, move back uh, forwards in car three mil. So I've actually moved the hole in the brake lever three millimeters. Now this lever, um, 
the ratio of, of this hull to the overall pivot point is basically a quarter. This distance from the pivot, the top pivot of the, the arm to this clevis point, if you would, the the, uh, the mounting point to the mast, uh, sorry, the servo, is basically a quarter of the overall length of the arm. So when I've moved this uh, three mil back, that's actually correct, corrected a f a f uh, three times four, a 12 millimeter or half inch area at the pedal. I might've got away with that, to be honest, but I try to be thorough. So if you want to move this pedal backwards, um, 24 mil, you need to move this six mil um, sort of this way. So this uh, pivot point move over here somewhere. It is possible to do that. And uh, I think that's not, it's quite a secure mod. It's not gonna really affect the reliability of the braking system. You will lose obviously uh, an inch of travel because the brake does actually bottom out on the bulkhead. But I think most of the braking occurs uh, with a proper, with a in-service brake system well before you hit the bulkhead. So that's one idea. But again, you've got to get the brake uh, lever off to do that mod. Obviously I was doing that. So that wasn't a problem for me. Um, okay. The next thing is actually to move the overall braking system backwards an inch. The problem with that is actually you've got, this is actually mounted on the bulkhead on angle. If we have a look here, I don't know if you can see that here. The bulkhead, the hot, the, um, the pedal bracket or the uh, pedal box, is actually mounted on angle on the bulkhead. So I can't actually move an inch forward in car to move the whole uh, thing backwards because it's on an angle. But what we could potentially do is try and pivot it. Um, I'll try and explain that. So if we if we can stick some shims under the bottom of here, we could potentially uh, lift the back up and move the pedal back. I'll try and show you that um, in a moment. Sorry, something I forgot to mention before we start looking at actually pivoting the whole pedal box is in moving this um, the pedal lever backwards, you move it beyond this uh, the brake sensor, which actually is a little cam working a micro switch. This, this is the early version. The, the later versions uh, are slightly different, easier to maintain. And the cars with uh, cruise control actually have two micro switches. So if we move this too far back, you can adjust the position um, sorry, it is adjustable. You can get a screwdriver in the gap there and just tweak it out. But obviously there is a limit to the adjustment of that um, and how far, because you've got to, the back switch has got to be made in its normal position. So you've got to be careful with um, messing with the pivot points, etc. That's why, another reason why I wanted to adjust mine to get it perfect. Okay, back in the pedal again. Now I've loosened the pedal box off uh, and I can, now, I can actually move the pedal. This is not actually depressing the pedal, brake pedal, it's actually moving the whole system back. Now I think that is pretty much in line with the, uh, the accelerator. I'll just have to see what it's doing in the... Um, the brake sensor. So literally, we're just pivoting the whole thing up in the air. I'm just gonna take this out, stick some nuts under there, and see what effect it has. I've, I've actually used these little um, plastic washers, um, eight mil washers. They're um, five millimeters thick, and I've used two of the, each of those on uh, the servo, underneath the servo our pedal box mounting point and this is the result. Um, I don't know, it's, it's very difficult to see but this is just slightly forward of the accelerator 
but nigh on. It must have moved 20, 25 mil backward. Um, that's actually the brake function now. Um, we're actually compressing the brake server. I'll push it all the way back. Uh, yeah, it's bombing out on the bulkhead. Uh, I think that might be full travel, to be honest. Um, obviously, we've, we've reduced the amount of potential of travel for about 20, 25 mil, but it's still quite a lot of travel there. If we have a look at the position of the servo now, well, you can see the brake reservoir sticking up. Um, I don't know if you can see inside here. Uh, it's difficult to see the gap, but the washers are underneath these these pair of back um, studs. Obviously, I bolt with the front down to the bulkhead. So it's basically a, a 10 mil tilt upwards. Obviously, this has risen slightly more than 10 mil. Sorry, that's loose. I haven't tightened that back on. If we try and put the cover back on. will just about go in but it's not sitting down as it should obviously this um, brake reservoir and potentially the, the servo are um, interrupting it I'll try and get a view of that yes just under flush so there you go if you want to move your brake pedal slightly uh, further forward and it's not you've got long legs you can do it with uh, four of these little washers sat underneath the uh, the forward bolts of the pedal box I think talking to Jaguar specialties um, in America so if they do a lot of LS conversions they're really um, skilled at uh, adapting pedal boxes um, I believe the um, from what they've said, the uh, left-hand drive pedal box can be removed without um, disconnecting the brake system. So um, I think there's quite a lot of flexibility in the brake lines um, attached to the to the brake servo. So sticking these little washers or something giving you 10 millimeters of packing uh, underneath those bolts will actually tilt the whole thing over and uh, move the pedal about 25 mil, about an inch uh, at uh, the the pad point. So I think it, it's going to be it's reasonably easy to do, uh, particularly for left-hand drive cars. So there you go. I hope you find that interesting. Um, if you've got anything XK related, you've got a question, or you've uh, you want to do something, I may well have a video on the channel. But I'm guaranteed I'll find some information for you to help you out. So please contact the channel either in the comments, by email, uh, etc. Anyway, um, hopefully that answers the question, Gary. Um, one last thing I would say is obviously when you um, pack up the pedal box, the pedal box is sealed to the bulkhead and uh, you, you may get drafty feet because there will be gaps. So you may need to... Um, uh, put a bit of uh, a rubber foam seal underneath. It might be, you know, to get it perfect. Yeah, I, you are, it, there, there is potential for water ingress and uh, drafts. So um, I'm not quite sure how you would address that. You can put mastic down there or whatever, but not, not in, in solvable. If you've got really long legs, you probably make the effort. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more XK videos. Bye bye.